innovation has always been central to Apple's brand. In September every year, they release a new version of their product line trying to innovate something better than the previous year. Even though many people are of the opinion that Apple might have hit a plateau in innovating the iPhone, it is clear that Apple has been the leader in innovation for several years in the past. In this video, we will look at 6 major breakthrough innovations from Apple that has changed the world. In 1997, Apple launched the Apple II. It was by far the biggest launch of that era. It was said to be one of Apple's best computers compared to the computers of that time. It spearheaded the personal computer revolution. Mind you, the Apple II wasn't the first PC ever made. There were the likes of the Altair 8800 and IBM 5100. Even though these were meant to be portable computers, they were huge and difficult to use with limited interaction screens. Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs knew they had to innovate. Their insatiable hunger to innovate birthed the first Apple computer, the best by far in that era. In 2001, Apple launched the digital music revolution. Steve Jobs had launched the iPod, one of Apple's greatest hits of that time. Users could hold up to 1,000 songs on that small device and could listen on the go. The Sony Walkman was nothing compared to it. The cassette and disc players paled in comparison to this tiny handheld device. The music was stored digitally so users could listen without scratches compared to the CD players. Users did not lose details of their music as did the cassette players. A revolution has sparked. This single innovation was going to change the world for good. In 2002, the company had sold 600,000 iPods, contributing millions to the company's revenue. This was a market where you could access all types of music from every genre and download them onto the iPod. The tech market went crazy with this new innovation. By 2004, Apple had sold 10 million iPods, contributing billions of dollars to the company's revenue. Everyone wanted the iPod. If you didn't have it, it seemed you were missing out on something. Apple had achieved their goal of surpassing everyone else in innovating the music consumption industry. In 2007, Steve Jobs had launched the iPhone. A widescreen iPod with touch controls, a revolutionary mobile phone, and a breakthrough internet communications. It beat the cell phone giants like Nokia, Motorola, and Blackberry. It was the first cell phone to adopt touch screens. The touchscreen technology had already been in existence, but had not been adopted for cell phones because of the multi-touch limitation that it had in those days. Again, the innovation of the company had shown through. The device a way of allowing multi-touch gestures which made it possible to be used on cell phones. Users could now perform gestures like pinching and zooming into images. It had 128 megabytes RAM, 4, 8, and 16 gigabyte storage. The design was so good, people could slide it into their pockets seamlessly. There was a problem though. To enjoy using the iPhone, users had to have access to mobile apps on the iPhone. But there weren't so many apps back then. To change the story, Apple launched the App Store the following year. Well, we're going to solve that problem for every developer, big to small. And the way we're going to do it is what we call the App Store. This is an application we've written to deliver apps to the iPhone. And we're going to put it on every single iPhone. This was such a big deal. They had changed their slogan to, there's an app for that. Basically saying, whatever you need to do, there's an app for that. And that app could be found on the Apple App Store and used on the iPhone. This meant that iPhone users had access to more mobile apps and could do more with their iPhones compared to other brand users. The competition had been pushed a notch higher and Apple was leading the way. Google and Samsung were left in the chase. Till today, the iPhone remains Apple's biggest product line and source of revenue. Their innovation in the tech markets had paid off. In terms of this next innovative technology, there had been many considerations in the past many companies had tried and attempted to make the best one. The Seiko Data 2000 was the first to be produced and is regarded as the first smartwatch ever launched in 1983. 
It was a digital wristwatch and had a regular black and white screen with a few buttons for controls. The uses were quite basic but was the first look into the futuristic line of wearable products. Other digital wristwatches had been produced by other companies including the Timex Data Link in 1994 and the Fossil Wrist PDA in 2003. Casio watches and many others were also produced around that same time. When Apple launched the Apple Watch in 2015, it was a big hit. The innovation was light years ahead of its compatriots. Although Samsung had released their own version called the Samsung Gear the year before, it was no match for the Apple Watch. The watch has since then cemented its place as the leading smartwatch on the market. People now had a reason to buy a smartwatch. Users could monitor their steps, heart rate, caloric expenditure, blood oxygen, and water intake all in real time. They could also pay for products at their store and listen to music without their phones. For most iPhone users, this was a no-brainer. On the topic of listening to music from the Apple Watch, you'd realize that this could not have been possible without the AirPod, another sensational innovative technology that had broken through the tech market like fire outbreak. The small size, the wireless nature, and the seamless connectivity design made it widely accepted that other competitors had to adopt it or lose the race in the tech market. The wires which held down the headphones to the mobile phones were finally eliminated. Users were finally happy that Apple had come out with this product. Last on the list, but definitely not the least, is Siri, Apple's AI virtual assistant. It was introduced in 2011 on the iPhone 4S and is considered the first widely used AI virtual voice assistant in the consumer market. Siri used natural language processing to understand and respond to user queries, set reminders, send messages, and more. Its success popularized the concept of AI-driven virtual assistants in consumer technology, with key competitor Samsung following suit in a few years later. Apple's innovation has either led to the introduction of breakthrough technologies into the market or redesign of already existing technology and made it better. Aside from those mentioned earlier in the video, there are also others like Audible, the Apple AirTag, and the M1 chip for faster and better computing. The vision and drive of Apple to innovate has led to many revolutionary technologies that has changed the tech market and changed the world at large for good. If this video has been very educative and interesting to you, kindly hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Videos like these take lots of time and research to make, so I'll be glad if you can hit the like button and I'll come your way with another interesting and educative video. Adios.